Being a fan of um, platformers, especially 2D platformers, I saw Demon Crush, which I've been trying not to call Demon Souls all week. It's Demon Crush. Um, I gotta play that. And Steam didn't have a demo, but the developers re reached out on Twitter and said, hey, anybody that's interested in playing this demo, let us know. And I said, oh yeah, sure, over here, right here, me, I'd like to play it. And they were like, great, here's the key for the demo. Sweet. So I'm looking forward to that. Now we're playing Demon Crush, which as far as uh, pacing goes, <laughs> this is gonna be a completely different type of game. Let's read a little bit about this first before we get started. So I'm not going to make the same mistake that I made with Crime or Punishment, where I started playing the game and then I completely forgot to talk about the premise. <laughs> I get a little ahead of myself sometimes. But Demon Crush is developed by Reverting Castles. It's a team of nine people. They will have a Kickstarter for this game starting in October 1st, so just a few days. This game is made by a group of longtime friends, industry veterans, and martial arts enthusiasts that are seeking to bring their love of combat sports into this game. And the word of the day, as far as this game is concerned, is adrenaline. And this promises something for everyone, for casual beat em up fans, platformers, speedrunners, score runners, challenge runners, whatever you got. So you battle warriors, demons, and beasts in a pixel art Japanese fantasy world. Fast-paced, 2D side-scrolling ninja action awaits as you avenge the fallen and defend your home against the deceitful warlord, Nizumo, and his demonic master, Mathonas. All right. So you play as Kenzo Yagimoto as he defends his home from an otherworldly evil returning from the ancient past. Master the weapons arts of the Yagamoto clan to save your beloved Gochima village from the burning blades of the warlord Nizumo and the dark secrets concealed in this hidden fortress. Only then can you confront his long forgotten demon master and save your world from being consumed by the endless hunger of demon hordes. Right on. <laughs> like, there's really not much more to the game on Steam page. But yeah. You're gonna play as oh oh I didn't I didn't I don't think I read this before. Um, you play as multiple characters, master different weapons and combat styles, and plunge into adrenaline-soaked action in a fantasy Japanese setting. Wall jumps, air combos, grappling hook traversals, super moves, chaotic battles, death-defying leaps, and razor-sharp duels to to the death against inhuman villainous bosses all await you. And as far as specs go, again, you can play this on a potato. All right, that's it. Let's get into it. I've been waiting to play this all week. Now, the one thing I did read is that there the developers were not big on having this game, uh, having this game's pacing being interrupted too much by cutscenes, dialogue, and things like that. So it's very light on all of that. So this is our guy. What's his name again? Kenzo? Just want to make sure I get his name right. Hold on a moment. Yes, Kenzo. So, let's see, what can we do? What does this do? This is like a slight, I'm pressing down on my control pad right now, because slight change in animation. We can look up. The jump is very quick. And we've got our attacks. Now, the other thing I read was that you should be able to chain things fairly fluidly. Second, where did my chat go? There it is. Okay. This is going to really test my platforming abilities. Oh, down and jump? Okay, there we go. 
Sorry, I just thought this looks like there would be a secret hidden here. I don't know if this game has those. Oh, so we can... If you double tap in one direction, you can sprint. What's this? Oh, this is a grappling hook. And you press B. So up and B. Alright, seems pretty simple to use. And in case you're not sure what buttons I'm pressing at the very top of the screen, you can actually see what buttons I'm pushing. So left bumper. Oh, it's a... Like a block or a parry. I don't know what that does. But I'm like glowing right now. Okay. I'm trying to get the parry done because I always suck at parrying in these games. So up and X gives us a... What? You grab him and you slam him to the ground. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> I kind of like that. Okay. How am I supposed to get that stuff? Alright. I, I wonder if that was a health potion. Oh, crap. There's a lot going on here. Ah, oh, bitch. Where am I? Ah, you son of a... Okay. I wonder if I can parry that. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's good to know. So just interact with that, and that will extend a... Well, it'll either open doors or extend bridges. This is a different weapon. So okay. A staff or spear for crowd control? Oh. Hmm. That seems very effective. Who are these people? Are these all the people from the, the same village? Damn. Ah. I let all those villagers die. Oh no, they're still here. Oh, so that little uppercut move actually creates like a little area of effect attack. What is this? It's like a sweeping uppercut with the staff. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> Shoot. Sorry to attack those guys thinking they were bad dudes. Okay, so this, I can't use that. All right, so that was, that explains why this was highlighted. Okay, I'm digging this. Come on. Ah! 
How many of them are there? Jeez, I feel like I keep getting backed into a corner. Seems like there's like an endless mob of these guys. Oh, shh. Hmm. Okay, I don't like these guys that are throwing bombs. They are very annoying. I'm all the way back here. Okay. So whenever I see one of those guys, I gotta take care of them first. Because they're just annoying as hell. <laughs> they can't do anything to me up here. Oh, I don't even have to fight them. Did that guy have a gun? Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. He actually does. All right. That is really useful for dealing with those guys up top, the up and uh, Y button. I wish it was like a... I could just drop down and do like a... Hmm. Let's just drop down and do um, like an area of effect. Ground attack would be great. What's this? Down and Y. Huh. Okay. What? Oh shit. So you can parry those. Challenging. How am I supposed to beat this? Down at X. Hmm. Oh, wait. Shh. Damn it. I keep pressing the, the wrong button to roll. I keep wanting to press B. And that just does the uh, grappling. Or, sorry, yeah, the grappling hook. So it's down an X. Oh. Whoa. That guy's got quite a reach. I love that attack. Oh, another one. Oh, so what I did there was I started a regular combo and then I chained it into that. Okay, so now I see what they're talking about. So I, I chained a ground combo into an uppercut and took out this green guy in one shot. Okay. I'm 
process. So press and hold B. I'm assuming that's what that means. Actually have to deal with him. Oh, never mind, he's chasing me. Still don't really know what that oh shoot. I don't really know what that blue stuff does. Oh crap, there's a lot going on here. This way. These are good guys. Okay. So parry and X at the same time. Hmm. Oh crap. That does a pretty strong attack. Actually, that sends those guys, those guys flying. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, I'm getting overwhelmed. Ah, oh, shoot. Kinda hard to see when there's a, that many people there. It's hard to see. allies is weird. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, okay. I'm guessing I've got to jump off and then grapple before I die. <laughs> That's not how you do that. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, that was better. I want to figure this out. So... Nope. Okay, maybe... going too far away. Ah. 
Another new one. Oh, so you pick somebody up with the grappling hook and then throw them. <laughs> That's cool. jump on that ceiling, but I can't. Okay. That part's challenging. This part is really challenging. Okay. like I'm any good at this game. I feel like I'm just button mashing, to be honest. It's it's just the, the pacing of this is really fast. That's not a complaint. It's just something I'm not used to. Is that a, a dual attack? Oh, okay. That's with the left bumper. So left bumper is kind of like a shift key that allows you to so this is what the regular X button does for attacking. But you press the left bumper and the X. And that particular attack sends people flying. With the B, which is the grappling hook, that's the regular attack. But with the left bumper, you I think if you do it correctly, you basically grab somebody and you throw them behind you. And with the Y button... That's just the regular attack, and it's good for taking out guys in a line. But press down and Y, and you do like a ground pound. And you do left bumper and Y, and you do that, which I haven't tried on anybody yet, so. That's pretty good. Where am I? instead of doing something useful. Down and Y attack is really good. If you've knocked somebody down, you want to, I think, hit them while they're down. Never mind. 
I'm digging this music. This music is great. Real heart pumping. Oh yeah, that is... Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Those are friendlies. What is that? Um... Left bumper and right bumper. And this uses... One of those lightning bolts. So I'm guessing that's some sort of, like, special ability power-up thing. It's like a charge? Let's try it. Oh. Oh, I don't have enough juice. You bitch. Ah. Guys are good shots. Ah, <sighs> all right, I'm almost dead. So parrying those actually sends them right back at the guys, which is handy. Saw that shot come in, and I'm like, I was looking at the health. going? I thought you were coming for me. Alright. Oops. This is really cool. It's it's oh shit. It's jump. Oh shit. This is All 
I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Hmm. Between those two guys. finally down to me. Ow. Okay, I have to... This is... Okay, good, good, good. Get this guy. What? Oh, this guy is tough. Fifteen retries. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm gonna take a screen screenshot of this. <laughs> oh god, that's. I feel like that's terrible. All right, man. I am digging this. I mean, that's probably it for the demo, but. Oof. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that is it for the demo. Man, this game, and that's the. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if that's the first level or not. Um, again, you can, you never, unless the game, unless the developers explicitly say this is a slice of, this is a vertical slice of middle of the game gameplay. It's hard to tell. But if that's an, like, let's, okay, let's just say, for example, that that's the first level, and that's the first boss. This game is going to be really, really hard. Maybe if I had more time with it, I actually felt like I know what I'm doing. Because I hate to, I, I feel like I have to confess this. Some of that felt like button mash, just because I couldn't clearly see my character. 
I had a rough idea of where he was, and occasionally the game's like giving you an arrow saying, hey, you know, here's where, you're right here. You are here, right? It's like one of those maps that you see on a mall where you're looking at all the stores. There's this little red dot that says, you are here. The game does that occasionally. I wonder if, hmm, if there are any control settings. Oh, you can hide the status bars in game timer. If you don't like seeing that, that's mainly for speedrunners. I was looking to see if there was a control that says that, that would actually um, highlight where you are in case you're not sure if you could just trigger it with a button instead of waiting for the game to tell you. I don't really know what button you would use though because pretty much maybe one of the trigger buttons because only the bumpers, the A, B, X, Y buttons are used. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It would be like a small quality of life addition. I don't really think it would be too difficult to trigger what the game is already doing, but I'm not a developer. I couldn't say. And I certainly don't want to give them more work to do. But I like this. This is, this is exciting. This is such an exciting game. Whew. 